confidence is a real shit. And when you see a friend have confidence, it kind of rub up or rub off on you. Not saying I never had confidence, but you know, tackling on being being a business person, being an entrepreneur, being just the, the who you are. So you bought way more swag. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. Look at that yeah. picture. Even the monkey check is the sits out. Yeah. Like, Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. Great appreciation for people, entertainment, and success. And I'm so happy, so happy that we're back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome, welcome back. back. They sound dry, but we're back. And I want everybody to introduce themselves, starting from my right. Oh, that's me. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's Queen Brittany what back up? in the building. What up, what up? What's up, man? It's your boy, Cool Kev, live on the set. You know, and we back. And how how y'all been? How y'all been? Yo, I've been like I miss y'all. <laughs> well, I, I miss the fuck miss out of y'all. y'all. First of all, I, ain't I miss even y'all. Damn. <laughs> man, I've been good, man. You know, it's like really, uh, you know, like the grass and shit growing back now. So <laughs> hey, that pollen season nah, is that, in full effect. God, this little bit of rain. I know I'm about to have to go hit that hit that backyard. <laughs> that front yard. Chew that B, chew that That's B. That's how it's said the grass. <laughs> well, I thought back. I was going somewhere else. The I one. did too. I waited. I paused for a second, like, what? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, man. You know. Hey, he's, well, he's, in other words, you got fucking grass to cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. That rain. That shit about to make the grass. That shit about to make my grass go real crazy. Definitely. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Right up. I don't even have to call my grass man. It's like the most beautiful thing in the world. Oh, they, they just come out. out and yeah, just... He automatically just comes every two That's weeks. That's what's up, man. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's respectful. Great guy. That's respectful. Yeah. Some people will argue that you know maybe he's trying mm-hmm. to make a move. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Older, <laughs> but, <laughs> married, never tried man, okay, to make okay, a good, move. Good, 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 Very good. nice guy. <laughs> Good, good. I just had to make that statement. But today I wanted to talk about. Good. (laughs) Today I wanted to talk about the importance of having a vacation, the importance of taking a break for thyself, having time for thyself, family time, QC, quality, I'm sorry, QT, quality time. And that's what I want to talk about. We took a month break. I wanted to have quality, quality time with my family, friends, um, make some moves, you know, in secret. Also in public, and you know, eventually I find out what, it, what I'm talking about. But, but uh, how was y'all break for a month? I went on a couple trips. Okay, okay, okay. I did. Um, I went to Miami for the first time mm-hmm. to party for the first time. Up in Miami. Hell yeah! Shout out to my <laughs> sis Lisa. She okay, got okay. the tie the knot in May. Okay, so, oh shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we went on a bachelorette trip with it was right. seven of us, seven females, and when I say we had the time of our Fucking life. So was it like girls' trip time? Yeah, or? definitely. Oh, oh boy, it was oh. definitely. Shanae, oh my yeah, god, boy, <laughs> like we had so much alcohol and like when I say lit because it was seven of us, so we had stopped to like this wine and spirit store. Okay, okay. But they had like gallons of like Espelon for like $40, oh, that's bro. That's cheap. What the fuck? Stupid cheap. Like, but everybody, all of us were buying big bottles of liquor. And right. Shout out to Miami. <laughs> man, listen. Like, if you ain't never been there, hey, hey. We to had, be. I had a fuck, like every single day we had a blast. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. We did everything from go to hookah bars to strip clubs to sh- the strip to okay, boat okay. rides. Like it, we we had a really good time. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. It's gotta have that QT. I went to a strip club that was literally like y'all ever seen um Miami Vice? Nah. Okay. Well, it's it's uh Eva Pickford show that she got out. Oh, okay, okay. Um and she uh she owned like a strip club, it's called Club Eden in the show. I'm trying to think. She go by Madam. 
Oh, okay. But I like might, the male no, dancers know. be coming out like with actual costumes on performing dances. Right, like it's right. not like I'm so used to going to female strip clubs That's all the I'm, time. I, 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 yeah, I'm, so right, right. it was way <laughs> different. Like these dudes was coming out with like neon suits and like the shit was just crazy, bro. We we had an amazing time. So. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, hey, shout out to Miami. Yeah. Hey, shout out to you, sis. But like tie that knot, all righty. You know. That's <laughs> Uh, yes, I am in a relationship now. So. Oh, yeah. I was just about to... Uh, um, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. You're in a relationship now? I am. Hold on, let me, let's, let's, let me put the little highlight on sis real quick. She done, <laughs> no, I'm so she done set her ass in the hot seat, didn't she? Golly. Oh, I thought you okay. was talking about when you said shout out to sis. But see, you so fucking sarcastic, Tim. <laughs> like, you so fucking sarcastic. I thought you was calling me out, no, like, no, real quick. No, That's why I looked at you like that. But, like, hey, nah, but sis, not. Nah, oh. But look, she called out but herself. Sis, like, yeah, nah, nah, you know nah, what I mean? Yeah. I, was, I was saying sis, because I forgot. You talking you about forgot. Lisa. Okay, yeah. I forgot your name, Miss yeah, Lisa. I thought she was talking about me when you said. I forgot your yeah. name. And, yeah. Shout and, out to Lisa. Shout out to Lisa. I'm not about to decide or not. But sis, I'm saying now that I can see why you would get that messed up. But you should have yeah. read between the lines. She automatically. Oh my assumed. god! If it's you but can't you know. read between the lines with him. But now that she what? put the little light on her, you in a relationship? Okay, I let's, am. Let me act ignorant for a minute. Oh, thumbs die off. <laughs> Kev, how was your break? <laughs> uh, my job was good, man. You know, my, uh, my sister just had a birthday, you know, a few birthday parties. Happy know. birthday. Um, Hell yeah. Happy late birthday. I, I did some construction in the in Ice Cube studio. I put up some soundboards, so y'all check that out, man. That that's what's be up, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, we trying to cancel out a lot of the rock music that's playing on the outside, so the sound is coming along. Hell yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Down. No, we don't know what you're get, saying. Trying to get my t-shirt machine back up, man. It's down right now, but um, I'm trying to get, you know, back into that. Make some more shirts. Been kind of slow motion. Okay, okay. And okay. I'm trying to start up something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm trying to start up something new. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You know what I mean? Well, I, well, well, he, well, he might need to consider chef him. My nigga done came in the house and made some motherfucking. Went to Food Lion and got some damn fried chicken. He ain't, he ain't not I got, got the, he got chicken. And came to the house and fried it. I'm like, this man, this, this some real nigga shit. But ain't, that's what's up, bro. That's what's yeah, up. Sir. Kev said he said. rather cook his food. Shit, fuck hey, that. Hey, I hear hey, that. Y'all would have catch me about like ten minutes ago. <laughs> <It's> swinging <laughs> chicken <laughs> all over. His swinging mouth. chicken. Okay. Out here, chicken swinging. Bottom lip so, grease. Yeah. <laughs> Promise you. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, That's what's man. up. But yeah, man. Like you know, I was. I really just been um, taking like like not like I'm. I normally do a whole lot, and I ain't been doing a whole lot lately. It's just been like it give me some time to think. You know what I mean? But have you been doing like the real, the the definite quality time of of doing thyself or with family and friends like um yeah i mean i get i get plenty of time with like the families and friends yeah, okay. but it's like uh because um, we was off for a month we this, on, four this weeks. on a personal level though like uh you know what i'm saying it give me a lot of time to think um you know what i'm saying oh um, like when i get off work on friday like the day is friday i get off work i'm boom 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 i'm here boom at the end of the day i think it said boom 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 so like you know like not having to do that is different Sometimes when I get off work, I'm like, I feel like I'm about to go do something, and it's like, damn, I ain't got no podcast tonight. You know what mm, I mean? that, that but, was I'm, weird, but I'm, yeah. but I'm in the algorithm. Yeah. I'm in the algorithm of being like, oh shit, like damn, what time is it? about seven o'clock? You know what I mean? Even though sometimes I still might <laughs> might be late. You know <laughs> oh yeah, well, we but was I'm definitely. Still in, I'm still in the algorithm though, like you yeah. know what I mean? It's different. And I apologize to y'all for being late. Um. You know, a lot of people make other people feel a, uncomfortable by, like, stating that they say some shit like, you know, I'm going through this and this. And, you know, they make they problem your problem. You know what I mean? So, again, I apologize. I know y'all about to give me some positive shit. Like, oh, da, da, da. but beyond that, I still, again, like, definitely apologize. The world always want to make other people problem their problem. Don't do that. We just if you got friends and you're going through some shit and you're going to be late, at least have some. Like, I, you know, I feel like I owe, owe y'all some beer or some shit. Like, I definitely owe y'all hey, some look. drinks or something. More than beer. You know what I mean? I'm late, late. Like, nigger is late, you know? We came to a conclusion so. where we feel like it's best for, like, a day like this where we're going to do something to go ahead and get ready to sacrifice anything. 
So that way uh, you said anything. Prepared. I don't know about anything. Hey, look, though. not well, anything. <laughs> like, you know, like we ain't talk about like no. Crazy. Make it a priority. Yeah, we just yeah. you know Friday. You know what I'm saying? We here. You know what okay, I mean? Word, like word. you know, I feel I feel I feel that forty five percent. That's something that, that's something that I feel like works. Yeah, that that definitely works. But like situations like today, you just can't. Like that's something you no. can't. Yeah. Like oh, y'all talking about like me? No, not oh, you. Like it's because me. Tim is apologizing for being late, oh, like, and I'm, I'm not really, going to really call late. out his reason. But yeah. uh, some reasons are valid. Yeah. You know, yeah. like did that, and like for me, even in business, when it comes to family, like my family is family my priority. You know, so as I feel, agree with you, Kev. You know what I'm saying? That you know we should be committed and make the sacrifices. You know, we, I feel like you know we should, but at the same time, some things can't be helped. So we also need to be able to yeah. move with the flow. Mm. I'm know? talking about. I'm talking about. Uh, like, if y'all want to know what I'm talking about to a pinpoint, I'm talking about like on Friday <laughs> episode at eight. We started at twelve. Damn. It's like damn. <laughs> it's you. you but, but think about it. Though. Think about it. Though. I sacrificed this whole that's Friday. Too much. Wait a minute. So I don't give a fuck when it starts. But nah, like, I don't want to sacrifice a whole Friday. But I might want to do some like, things. I hope you want to do some things. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean that's I'm talking about. Time we, is precious. I'm talking about we can get stuff done on time. But I'm talking about even if we don't, I'm still like willing to complete it. Like, I, right. I, but I feel I, get what you're I feel yeah. I feel like that extra time that we spend working, like we if we all putting our brains together, like say we all just like. I done seen this already. You feel me? So I know it's real. We all get to the point. We like, damn, what we gonna Microphone talk about? Microphone check. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> so we like, damn, what we gonna talk about, y'all, right? Mm-hmm. And then we all brainstorm. Right. But I'm saying, like, you know what I mean? Like that extra time that we spend sitting down, you know, like this conversating and building, like, you know, that's that's time that we ain't spend together. So that like, could be yeah, true. It's more true. organic whenever we do start building. And that, I'm I'm so cool with that when it's just us. Right. But I feel there like it's a, good. We yeah. that's why I say we take that whole day. We definitely gonna make it happen. And you have I some situations. Yeah, the whole day, that's too much. Yeah. I can't. I I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm you about, know, I got churn, my churn. Yeah, I, I got job, wife. So get right, right. But when we get off, bro, we here, we right, here though. Right, so we make right. it happen. Anyway. Right. But quality time is very, you got to take time for yourself. But always remember that other people got shit going on in their lives. I remember I had somebody come on this podcast a few, probably a few few months ago. Actually, a few weeks ago. Nah, it was like a month or two ago. And they couldn't stay. They had to prioritize their time. But what I did see was there was, there was a, um, a just a position, you know, like there was, there was, okay, so I explained. So the person came to the podcast. They stayed probably 30 minutes and then they did. But on a previous session that we had an episode on on the podcast, they stayed for like an hour 15 before we even set up. And I noticed the difference. <sighs> Sexism is a real thing. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, y'all. I, I, I know I'm throwing some limit news. It's going over a lot of people's head. But I'm going to give you an example. <sighs> How should I explain this? Some, some females and men, based on... I'm, well, all right. So, so I'm gonna give you the female perspective. Some females will sacrifice some time and energy when they in amongst other queens, right? But if they around men, they might have the con the connotation of thinking like, "Oh, well, this nigga is just wasting my time." I have to say that that is actually and that goes true both ways. A lot. That goes both I'm not ways. I'm gonna say that's a hundred percent all the time, but it happens a lot. Happens like, a lot. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, I will be honest and say I personally have been biased okay. in that way before. You know, like I've noticed that I've had more patience with females mm. than I did with men. Mm. You know, but that came from. Um, some past traumas that I had where I just I just didn't have a certain respect for men because of experience that I had in the past. I mean, but once all of that changed, you know, I can see now from a more broad perspective, right? Like, damn, girl, you was fucking being biased as a motherfucker. Probably mm. two people who really didn't deserve it based off how you was treated by somebody I was guilty else, too you know? of that, so yeah. Yeah, so I can definitely see that, you know what I'm saying? I have, I've seen that, I saw it, 
you right, know. Right. And then I noticed it within myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it can definitely be a bias when it comes to, but it can also be ver- vice versa because sometimes there are women who trust men more than they trust women. So they'll be more patient with men, but won't be as patient with I've seen that women. As well. You know what I'm saying? So it just really depends, you know, um, the situation. And I personally know, you know, the person that had that experience with us definitely has had some not so great some experiences not, with men. I definitely, you know? I, and, and I won't, of course I'm not going to, I'm not going to diss them. I understand they've been right, through some bullshit. Right, they don't right, deserve right, to go through that. So, right. so with that being said, it's like, yeah, I can see why. Like, nah, I ain't got time to be waiting for no man right yeah. now. Uh, my, my man just did, my ex-man just did this, this and this and this. I'm not mm-hmm. waiting for nobody. I understand it. Yeah. You know, so, um, but just always remember that time is precious and, don't be too biased. You got to respect other people's You got to respect yeah. other I try to. I know today I feel like I didn't even damn. At least let somebody know, hey, I'm in Southport trying to drive. You know, I ain't going to tell you how fast. But, you know, I'm speeding a little bit, you know. <laughs> uh, but well, I still apologize about that. I just know that um, it's a lot of people out there. They do shit. And they just realize that, you know, when it comes to just understanding time, people got shit they got to do. I know you're busy. I know I'm busy. And, um. But yeah, I'm happy I had some little vacation yeah. time. You in Miami. You know, that's what's up. Yeah, I did a lot. I did a lot, like, over my break. Like, I I was, I was, did Miami, you know, then I came back the next weekend and did uh, Charlotte, you know. Um, Shout out to Charlotte. But y'all got to fix y'all got, y'all. First of all, let me rewind. Off subject a little bit. The traffic in Charlotte, y'all. I hate it. What's going on? Y'all got to get it together. Charlotte and where else? My sister literally just moved out of Charlotte to outside of Charlotte because of the traffic. <laughs> Like, literally because of the traffic. She's Yo, like, I cannot live inner city anymore. Like, Charlotte be doing a little bit too me. much. Yo, yeah. Mm-mm. Trying to get home from work to get back into Charlotte. Like, uh, a 40-minute drive was taking like an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get back into Charlotte that in, the, like some, in the late work hours, you know? Right. That's like some damn Cincinnati or New York type. Situation. Definitely like, Atlanta. You yeah, know, like Atlanta traffic is super congested. Yeah. You know, so it, to me, it'd be giving a heavy Atlanta, New York. Yeah, congestion. yeah, yeah. Congestion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you ain't super even 25 annoying. minutes, but it's like an it hour takes and a half. so long to get a short distance. Mm. You like, know? that's doing so, too yeah, much. It is. I agree. But yeah, so she bounced up out of there. But I love Charlotte, though. Yeah, Charlotte, so Charlotte is, was great. Charlotte be lit. Um, in April, I also uh, merged uh, my business. I am no longer the uh, CEO of Lock Queendom. Okay, I am man. the founder of Lock Queendom. Oh, shit. Um, okay. Lisa is now the CEO of okay. Lock Queendom and part owner. Okay. Well, shout yeah, so out to Miss Lisa. Shout I out see to Lisa. you put numbers on the board. Yeah, okay, oh, okay. big numbers. Yeah, That's so what she's up. doing phenomenal. Mm, which one is that, Lisa? Lisa, she was the shop manager. Mm. She's now co-owner. What's she look like? That's a whole big dip. Manager. She no, sitting right at the front by the door with the orange hair. Lisa, Alicia. Kev look this good. Yeah, Kev. <laughs> she been here for two years. My nigga okay. getting that chicken out the lip. What the fuck you yeah, talking about? She been there. <laughs> her. Mm-hmm. I gotta get. Yeah. I gotta send my wife to get go over there to lock Queen. Yeah. Vacation. So your wife just told me she needs an appointment before Mother's Day. <laughs> like, all right. So all we're right. gonna get her in before Don't try Mother's to t- Day. I asked her to get her hair done last week. She said, "No, I wait till this week." She wanted it done for Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told her I got. I, I always got you with the hair, baby. Always, always yeah, he you. always got his wife for everything. Not just the hair. Like, she told someone, "When you gonna get your hair done?" Nah, let's, let's wait a little bit longer. I'm trying to. I don't know. I'm trying I'm to rock out with your cock out. I, hey. <laughs> 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 He's trying to fuck with your cock out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, nigga, Hell, all no. I got to do is put it in a but bun. Man, yeah, okay? Cut the sides and I'm, you know, I can, I can look a little rough, but hey, hey. I like the natural If I look, cut the so. sides, I'm good. I don't want to be all like. Super neat all the time. I don't the want time. the yeah. too neat all the time. Once the boom moon is like, all right, I'll be on my own. Yeah. My neat shit. But that's throughout the year, I'll probably, I'll probably get my hair twisted. Ooh. Three, four times a year. A year. That's it. Makes sense, though. You know, I, you know, I don't want the. I used to like the neat look, but mm. I'm, I'm like, nah. If you got no sides and you know you cutting your sides all the time, nah. You, go ahead and, that's your look. Yeah. Right. 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 How but was your break? It was. It was actually good. Um, it's it's really really good. I found that we might have the podcast might end up having an endorsement within a month or two 
um, from Cassie Kelly Candles. I got to end up talking more about that. I got to find Amazing. out some things. So, yeah, that's some good shit coming on. Yes. I'm going to find out that. Um, what else? I just been spending time with family. I was yeah. supposed to go to New York. That trip fell um, because of my father. Dad, I love you. I ain't going to go into detail. But at least you know why. But anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't go to New York that fell. I might go next next month. But I just was just spending time with family. Yeah, the QT was heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was it was needed for me. But I mean, I feel like that is one of those things. Those that that's one of my big things for twenty twenty three. Yeah, definitely being more present and more um, doing what is actually more valuable to me. Uh, for so long, I felt like making money was value, you know, mm. and and growing business was a value and. Being, uh, being an inspire uh, a person to inspire or encourage that's value. But now I know that the true value is the love right. at home, you know, and the people mm. that mean the most to me. So I, I always had this thing where I felt like I didn't need people. You know what mm. I'm saying? And I have come to the awakening that I actually do need. That's your you defense know? mechanism. Absolutely. You know, yeah. when people be like, and, and I, I was just talking, shout out to Josh. We were just talking about a, a, a friend of ours. And he always said, you know, I don't need nobody. You know, I'm, I can handle shit myself. Yeah. But everybody, we homo sapiens sapiens must be with people, right? You know, you can be the most anti-social person, but there is going to be one person you're going to fuck with, vibe with, vent with, utilize your time and energy. Like you um, do, be feeling like you don't need anybody because you know that at by yourself you getting shit done. Right, but you need you, know you need somebody. Saying? But you it really don't have do. to be like, financial. It's a, it's a, it don't that's, have to be. That's the point. Uh, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be. Right, you know, we right. are people that need to be fulfilled in many other ways, emotionally, aside right. from financial. But I think that um, I lacked it in my perception because I had not experienced it in a way that I could appreciate it. Mm. Right, and then my perspective uh, shifted. You know, because I was opened up to new perspective by, you know, the person that I'm dealing with. Shout out to who, who, yeah, yeah. Well, since you kind of spilled a little bit of that tea, I, mean, I know sis was like, don't be doing that, don't be doing that. But earlier she said she in a, um, a relationship. Yeah. How's that going? Did y'all see how she smiled? Aaron, you might be that back. <laughs> when she said, first said that earlier, she rolled her eyes a little bit like, you call out my business, but she called out her own business. <laughs> but she was smiling a little bit, y'all. Like, the camera don't miss shit. You know what I mean? Shout out to What's, what's your boyfriend? Uh, his name is Cameron. His Cameron, name is Britt. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, Chief. Yeah, but, I heard, listen, Chief. I, I heard I heard of your name plenty of times. I've been drinking, so I kind of got messed okay. up. But listen, Cameron, you're doing a phenomenal job. He is. You've been talked about positively, like how many damn times? Or every time I talk to Brittany, you know, Cameron. Am I oh Cameron? my God, Sam, seriously, <laughs> I, no. Shouldn't they? Oh my God. He is God. doing the most. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Yeah. That, shout out to my nigga Cameron. I don't I, even I don't even know him and I fuck with him. Shout out to Cameron and but just shout out to people in general who do so well being themselves. Mm. You know? Mm. Like that's the, the that's thing. The, that's the key. You know, you can't appreciate people so much when they're so pure at being them. Mm. You know. And the and, biggest factor of that is not worrying about what the world feel about you. Right. You inclusion gotta know who is, you are. Right. You know? That inclusion so, is a hell of a drug. Yeah. If the moment you mastered this inclusion is the moment you are free. You untethered yourself. Right. You know, that's some that's some Buddhist mantra of untethering yourself. Shout out to Buddhism. But anyway, um, what I was going to get at? <laughs> Cat face. <laughs> Cat, why you look at me like that, babe? Nah, <laughs> no, I'm know, just saying, just, like, I, mean, I heard nothing but positive shit about my homeboy camera. You know what I mean? My, yeah. You know, when I got my listening ears on, you know, I just be like, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening. my listening ears and my thinking cap. You know what I mean? I'm listening, you know? That's all. Cap is a funny dude, man. I miss y'all motherfuckers. And I miss y'all. I'm not saying that as a derogatory to any of y'all. And I mean, it, it, with all in that <laughs> statement of the things we just said, I, I think that I could not go without saying that even being away from y'all for 
a month made me realize how much y'all mean to me. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Even that. Barbarian, you know, that. it's like seeing the value, like y'all bring so much more value to my life other than just this podcast. Girl, you know? she over here got me damn. If I was white, I'd look red like a tomato. For real. You know what I mean? Like Tim and Kev shout out to and Melody. DJ Barbarian, <laughs> shout out Tim to- family, like they, y'all mean the world to me. I appreciate me. y'all. You know, y'all. Y'all have brought a lot of happiness, man, a lot of laughs, that. a lot of smiles, a lot of ideas, a lot of encouragement, Man, a lot of positive <laughs> and affirmations. So have, and so have you, know you what though. I'm saying? So. I have this is the the biggest thing I learned about sis is you must be confident regardless of how you move in this world, regardless yeah. of how anybody feels. Confidence is a real shit. And when you see a friend have confidence, it kind of rub up a rub off on you. Not saying I never had confidence, but you know, tackling on being being a business person, being an entrepreneur, being just the, the who you are. So you bought way more swag. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. Look at that yeah. picture. Even the monkey check is the sits out. Yeah. Like, Good God. <laughs> 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 Okay, look at that damn monkey. <laughs> Bruh. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, was that intentional? Did. No, that was Did wasn't. you even mean for me to land beside the monkey? Yeah. I just, I mean, okay, I'm gonna, I just want to make I'm it clear so that me one, and Kev yeah. have no idea about the wall change, but which we love. I just want to know the thinking that you put into that because it landed so beautifully. Oh, I actually yeah. like the fact that he's looking at me and I'm standing there like, you Well, know. first of all, I didn't even know how to picture it. Shout out to DJ Barbarian. <laughs> I didn't know how the pictures were going to be. So he picked the pictures. I don't remember even taking this picture. So I'm like, what? You know. Yeah, he did the photography. <laughs> he did, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember taking it. But <laughs> I was originally supposed to be in that spot. And I said, nah, I think I'm going to switch. But then when I switched it, I said, wait a minute. The monkey looked like it's checking Britney out. And then Aaron was looking like, man, shut up, man. You know, but I, I like how DJ Barbarian done pick a derogatory picture of me uh, flicking y'all off. That's I apologize. One of my I apologize, y'all. I ain't trying to flick y'all Tim, off. Listen. But look at Kev, bro. He need to have a twinkle on his teeth. That's why he looked like I can lie. Shut Kev up. Kev looked the coolest. <laughs> he looked like he about to. He do. <laughs> he got the stunning shades Kev, on. Kev, I ain't gonna lie. He got me about to do a kick. <laughs> I ain't know he had that picture. But nah, yeah, I knew, I knew he was holding show. up. He was he was keeping the footage in the vault. For real, because I didn't. I never saw that picture. Of me. I, don't, I don't. You say yeah. you never saw that. picture I never of me? saw that picture of me. That picture yeah. is better than. I feel like that picture represents the aura of the podcast. Yeah, and it's, and it's all its faculty. in its totality. Yeah, 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Y'all cool as fuck, bro. I'm just I'll fuck with y'all. So DJ, I just I just had to let me. I'm just talking about the situation. He, my, my producer, just came back. Don't I, look at that monkey again. Don't that monkey look like it's checking sis out? I'm just you know. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all gonna end up getting these pictures because me and Aaron got to order um Matt Matt so, photos. Yeah, right. my gloss ain't it. Mm-hmm. But, you know. Shout out to the company who did this. I'm you know you ain't paying for advertisement, so I ain't gonna say your name. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <I'm not. laughs> you shit. Put your name on nothing, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for your services. I paid for. Okay. But yeah, so during this quality time, shady ass. What's some so of the shady. shit that y'all experienced that y'all realized like you had like the cut off? Like, was Ooh. there any people or some shit? Like, what the fuck am I doing? Or let me go ahead and back back. Let me check this shit up. Bro. Is there any of that while doing that? Because that happened a lot for me. That has happened a lot. So this is what's crazy is I I ha- I didn't bring it up because I've already like been practicing on pouring my energy into what feels good to me and just completely dismissing what didn't work out, you know? Mm. Um, but I have had to cut some people off in my life that I would have never in a million fucking years. Within this years, past month? Yeah, absolutely. Like, well, you said past, earlier, I'm not gonna say that person, but earlier, the person that you said, yeah, that I was, was like, one of yeah, them. Yeah, you know, damn. that was a little crazy for me because, like, this is a person that I've been there for from birth, mm. and I've invested so much emotionally, financially, <sighs> mentally, physically. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And I mean, I can't. I don't regret it because I don't. Um, I will never. Regret what I do for anybody. There's a reason why it had to happen. Because it was a reason why it had to happen. But it just breaks my heart um, when I'm so emotionally invested in someone and I realize that 
this person is not able to mm -hmm. reciprocate to me on a level or even be in my energy in a way that is healthy to keep it going, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's like not really hating or being angry, but just seeing people for who they are and really deciding who gets to stay and who doesn't, right, you know? Right. And I'm totally okay with that because over the years as I have <laughs> ascended, like every time I grow, I notice that I have to cut people off and meet new people and that is the light in it because then other people come into my life that are so fulfilling mm -hmm. and so loving and so um, willing to reciprocate and really just be a light to me just like I'm being a light to them and everybody else, you know? So that's the part that I'm just more so thankful. So not really in that mindset of, damn, I had to cut these people nah, off. Nah, not in that mindset. Fuck it. Like, yeah, I had to I had to cut them off, but I have gained so much. Mm, from from these, the cut. This, within this past month, I have gained a lot of new perspective and a way of looking at my life in such an abundant mm. perspective, bro. Like, wealth is not just money. No. Before you even... Oh, let me interject. Let me interject. Before All right. you, before I'm you stop. go. No, 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 no. That's, some, that's yeah. a real... Woo, girl. Wealth is not money. No. But let me ask you this question before before we... Is is cutting off... If, if you enjoy the cutoff factor, is that toxic? I don't think so. Okay, because I thought I felt in that category. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I mean, I I like releasing the weight because yeah. if I had to cut somebody off, it probably felt like a heaviness on me. You know, what I enjoy I'm saying? cutting people off. Yeah, That's so if I cut you off and I feel a lightness, how can I not enjoy that? Like, right, nigga, I feel right. free. The fuck? Like, if I cut you off and I feel a weight lifted. <sighs> That means yo, you were pretty much trying to drain me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Unintentionally or intentionally, it don't even fucking matter. You were trying to, you were draining me. A breath you know? of fresh air. Yeah, a breath of fresh if I'm air. Giving, freedom, if I, especially like, if you put in mind, energy, like, you putting in time, resources, money. You giving them a way to be in a better light, and they don't, they, you know, they take it for granted. Yeah, it's a lot of people who take shit for granted. How the fuck I'm gonna feel bad about cutting somebody off who's willing to spitefully try to hurt me? What? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can come out your mouth and I can be here for you your whole life and right. love you your whole life. And you say you love me too, but then turn around and because you're upset about me setting a boundary, you spitefully and intentionally try to hurt me. Mm. You, you know, know what I'm saying? This, like, how can I feel bad about cutting that off, whether it's my family or not? Families. I feel like it's easier for family. The family the be families, the quickest the, ones. Bro. Families will, because they're like, they act like, it's, I know you. You know, I could get away with this because I've known you, I fuck with you, but you, I know you know and you. you think we blood, I'm keep looking and because past we your blood, bullshit. you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna call me out on my bullshit because we blood. You ain't gonna, you know what I mean? Like they, some family, they do this unconsciously. They're not really thinking about it. They just be like, whatever they do, oh well, you know, I'm gonna do it. Such and such told me not to. I'm gonna do this anyway. Or they, they don't like that. I, I, I probably even something corny like this. Oh, Tim don't want me to wear shoes in the, in the house. Oh, I'm gonna wear shoes anyway. Fuck what the fuck he said. Fuck him and it, fuck him and whoever designed them, because he act like you know they be doing the most. You gotta let people go who don't respect your boundaries. It's just as simple as that. I lost a lot of friends going up, climbing up that mountain. You lose friends, but the first person you're gonna lose for first people is family. And the reason why it's family is because they only remember all the old shit they used to do. Oh, you used to do this, this, and this. They don't remember. They don't see you going through a transcendence if you're moving in, in, to the to the left or right. right. That's right. in a positive positive way. They still see you for oh, he he the same knucklehead that was uh, but guess uh, doing what? this and this. It's because they can't see beyond the, their own perception of themselves. Mm -hmm. So when people consistently and and insistently and persistently try to put you in this box of who you are it's because that's what they're doing to themselves absolutely you know what i'm saying so i and once you accept that then it's easy to be like ah oh that nigga just sleep as a bitch i, I can let move on wanna, and, hey, I'm, whatever, I'm gonna tell you, you know? some crazy joint you want to know how my experiences be what so i love the fact of understanding right so like at the end of the day i sit back and I go through the situation and I understand, like once I get an understanding, I speak my mind on it. And then if the person feel whatever kind of way, mm -hmm. they just feel that way, they stop. Like I, like I speak my mind on the situation and people stop fucking with me or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, damn, you know what I mean? Right. But I don't really cut people off. Like they might cut themselves off from me or something like that. Cause I, I just gonna say what I gotta say, you know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. Even with even with my family, like you know, what I mean, I'm just. I done been through so much, man. My family know what I've been through, man. You know, everybody know. Right. Like, I just, I can't sit there and, you know, I don't sit there and while the with nobody like that. Like, I, I'm the, I'm one of the funniest people laughing all day. But, like, when I be, When like, he had that chicken but, grease but, earlier on that bottom lip, that shit was funny. But when I make decisions, <laughs> you know, when I make decisions, I make sure they final. I make sure, mm. you know, I take my time and make a decision or something. So, if I'm, so, like, when it come down to, like, Dealing with people, I'm just, I'm just moving. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm advanced. You know, I moved, I move. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna speak my mind, say what I want to say. People, you know, like I know how to just keep going. So I, I don't really get distracted on that level. I just keep going because I know how to do that. Like I didn't do that for so many years. You know what I mean? Right. So you got used to. You can't moving. never. You can't never this... let. Don't never let nobody ever feel like they want somebody feel like like <laughs> you walking somebody like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I don't ever feel like that. Get out my nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This the keep thing it is, keep it going. Keep it going. You know what I mean? Fuck this shit. Shake like it that. off and keep it going. Yeah, you know you gotta keep. You gotta do. You gotta be able to shake it all quick though, and not let it drag you down. You, know what you already mean? know about. You already know I'm about to say. Beware of pretend <laughs> gestures of admiration to hit the agendas. Here go the third factor. Understand the art of war. Understand. Here go the fourth factor. Understand the art of deception. Mm-hmm. I, I I was I literally I literally grew, grew up in a in a household and I was living with my parents with a person who understands psychology and would play my games. Mm. It's hard when you live with somebody like that. You start reading into you. it. You start learning about narcissistic behaviors. You start learning about people who's who self sabotage yeah, mm-hmm. and don't want you. They do slick shit. They say one thing and actions be the Spend reverse. So much energy trying to be able to I learned the art yeah. of deception from people trying to deceive me. Right. From like like really, really good deceiving people. Like really, really good. So when you get that sense and urgency in your stomach, your gut, your belly, you get it's like somewhere in here, it feels fuzzy, right? And and the, and you know, you're like, I don't trust this person. Or I don't like how way this person moves. You know, one of um, my sis uh best friends, I I never had a trusting energy from this person. You know who you are. But <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> Yeah, I'm throwing Me shade. Either. And but, it's not my best friend. That's <laughs> Tim's sarcasm again. But what I'm getting okay. at is when you understand the art of war, you play the chess game. When you understand deception, you can't be deceived. When you beware yourself of pretend gestures of admiration to hit the agendas, you can't be played. I cut people off by not utilizing energy in them. It could be, I'm going to stop calling. It could be, I'm going to stop texting. It can be, I'm going to block you. You know who you are, who you got blocked. I have more black people on my friends list than my list. And that sounds crazy to a lot, a lot of people. But for a lot of people, I don't want them to see me how I'm moving. Don't go on my Facebook, see who I'm talking to. Don't go on my, you know, it's bad enough. Some people might go on the podcast and be seeing how you moving yeah. or, oh, you doing this and that? Nah. You ever had people I'm ask about you? To limit. Yeah, I- Bro, but don't come you. to you and ask how you're doing. Like, that is a red flag. First Why of would all. I go to, prime example, I'm so sorry. Why would I go to your sister? I said, well, how are Brittany doing? And I, I got Brittany number. I can't call fucking me ask, ask me, like, listen. <laughs> what? People do weird shit. <laughs> That's bro. weird to me. They do. And people be fans in real life. Like, I've realized people don't be haters. They be fans. Like, I they, 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 <laughs> look. And me, like, we all got fans. You know what I'm saying? If you being honest, like, it, yeah. it's, it's fucking, like, I think it's just the being used to, like, looking at social media mm. and admiring other people's lives and their perception of how they think things are. And then they start wanting that, you know, and it causes mm. them to do weird shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's them not knowing who they are. And that's why I was saying shout out to the people who are true and good at being themselves and know who they are. Are because the the motherfuckers out here that's moving in that way it are the people that are really stuck in this washing machine cycle and it got to be <laughs> miserable for them. You know, it's a miserable feeling not knowing who you are, not knowing what you're good at and actually wanting to mirror somebody mm, else's life and be like them. That is out fucking landish. Yeah, I heard about that, you know? that girl who died trying to look looking like Kim Kardashian. No. 
She looked just like Kim Kardashian. That is she got wild. the surgeries. You know, she's had a massive heart attack. Ooh. So you put your body through all the surgeries and stuff. And I hate to talk ill about the dead. I'm really not. I'm talking <sighs> ill about you having to manipulate your body, morph your body. To mirror and somebody, to mirror somebody else. else. That's you better crazy. off just marrying yourself. That's crazy. You know, you look at, and, and not and not knocking females, but look at how females move compared to men. Mm. Don't, you don't have to, this be natural. You don't have to actually really do all these augmentation, unless if you really need it for medical purposes. But you nah, don't have to do really all these don't. augmentation to please a man. Fuck that Trust shit. Trust me. Am I lying, sis? Am I lying? Be getting them. <laughs> Shout out to the BBWs. Am they I be lying? getting them. Hey. Okay. Hey. They be getting them. I got a cousin that's a big, big girl. She be getting them. Trainers and all. <laughs> She's like, trainers and all. Hey. Okay. Like, hey. It's how it's all about how it's you carry yourself. How you and perceive confidence. yourself, right? And carry yourself. So. And the same thing for the men. A lot of men been not letting females be themselves. In other words, don't you you want to control every aspect and notion of their body, which still falls back to the subject of quality time. You think about how much time and energy you waste, resources, and not letting that woman bloom to the flower that she can be. If you think about it, you sit back, you're like, oh, shit. She, you want to control, like, oh, she, I don't like how much makeup you got on, or maybe you need to do this, this, and this. You know, like, in other words, just her be herself. She want to wear makeup, fine. If she don't want to yeah. wear makeup, fine. But you got some men who want to control every facet. They'd be, they be too they be I too think it's women like that, it. too. I couldn't be in a relationship like that. No. Nah, Shout out to my all. wife. I could, ain't no way she would. I don't like, I need you to cut your side of your hair every day. Nope. I ain't, you know, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what they be talking about, but I like that she allowed me to be in my masculine energy well, just I mean, as much as she being her, her feminine. When you accept someone for who they are, you don't try to adjust them to be who you want them to be. Like because you it's fake at that point. Who they are? Is you they going to be saying? happy? Like, Not who you want them to be, right? Because imagine, you know? let's say, if I was trying trying to manipulate my wife to be to fit a certain image or demographic or some type of notion of just being different, right? Not herself. I know for a fact that's not going to be happy for her or for me or even for the relationship in a whole. It's in it or in its entirety. So, like, why even try to do the manipulation thing? It all comes down to cute quality time. I had the quality time to sit down to my wife and talk about everything. It could be small shit. Like, all right, what are we gonna eat? To you know, um, this is my plan. This is my my three year plan. This is where my credit score is at. Mm-hmm. This is how we gonna. This is where we gonna be at five years from now. We're not gonna buy a house because the market is at this price. We're gonna buy a house this time because the you know shit like that. Sit down, talk to your wife, friends, family members. Communicate on what your end game is. Everybody has an end game. And I hope that your end game has happiness in that equation. Your True end game can't be genuine, genuine, genuine happiness. You, your end game can't be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. But that can't be it. That can't be it. <laughs> you that don't can't be it. it. Like, that's it. Then what? Then what? Like right, right. Because you, you could the... end up being a millionaire tomorrow. Say right? you wake up and hit that Powerball. It it happens. Then what? Then what? What is your end game? <laughs> My end game is, and I feel like I feel really, really happy. So, I, I mean, let me let me. My end game really is just making sure that how happy I am, I want my children even more happier. How happy I am, I want my wife more happier. How happy I am. I want my associates that I really, really have close to me, that I don't really associate their friends, really family. I treat them in the family element. My podcast is in that family element. I don't want them happy. I want them grandiose. I want them to be better than where they at now. Yeah. What can I do as an individual to help that? Just the simplest way to do that, and I, I've thought about this, it's just being me. Yeah. You know, like celebrate your friendship. Throw some posters on the wall, some shit. Have a little bit of beer, you know. Do some random yeah. acts of kindness. Because we love you for being if you. Love, gotta love yourself you for know being what I'm yourself. Saying. So, because that genuine you sometimes, well, the genuine you all the time is gonna care for people in a way that somebody that is walking around with a mask on won't. I've seen, you know, I've seen people, and this is where I, I really believe where depression comes from. I've seen people not be themselves. Right. I've on a podcast and they genuinely have not been themselves. Mm-hmm. And um another statement would be like, all right, like we are meant to move. I think 
depression is higher this this time of age than any other time ever. But if you look at the countries who are the most laziest, the countries who get to sit back and not really do as much physical activity, and I'm not knocking anybody, pe- people who can't do physical activities. What I'm getting at is your body's made to be in motion. Right. And within the past three weeks, I have I have anger issues. I just I, I'm an angry person who know how to control their anger. Right. I started do, going through the motions of exercising now. You know, and I'm not angry, like, at all. (laughs) My lower back ain't hurting. I've got my little swag back. You know, like, move a little bit. I don't care if it's for 15 minutes a day. Your your body's made to move. And you will see the levels of of chemistry that goes on with anger in your brain. You start calming down. You see that you're not as anxious. You don't have that much anxiety. You don't have all these problems. And I get that everybody is on this band wave now of getting um, counseling. And that's what's yeah. up. But what I, the danger is that I see is that you can't ask everybody to fix your situations if you're not even trying to meet the fix the problem halfway. And the first thing to do is actually come to the exception that you have a problem. <laughs> you know, come to the exception that you have a problem and realize you don't have to go to just a counselor or a psychologist. There are oracles out there. There are friends out there that you have. People, just just venting to somebody can mean the difference of helping you out to get through whatever you need to. And I'm, I'm not knocking people who actually have, um, who talk to psychiatrists and talk to, you know, counselors. Shout out to y'all. But there's like a big band wave of like, oh, you got to have psychiatry. You got to talk to a psychiatrist. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Well, what do you do? Why do you need to talk to a psychiatrist? Well, you, do, you don't move around. You gain in weight. Your 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 A one C's is up. Your sugar endorphins is you know it's it's everywhere. You got high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Move your motherfucking body, right. and you will see the difference. You don't really need to actually have all these talking to anybody, psychiatrists, counselors. <coughs> You've been releasing fat and and moving your body. You don't have anxiety no more. I never really had anxiety. Tim, I agree with you like fifty percent. Okay, because I feel that. It's all important. It's all, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, facts. it's very important. But when we think about the, us in our um, full totality, we're built of several components. You know what I'm right. saying? We are um, uh, spiritual beings, uh, physical beings, and mental. But what I'm getting at, you know, a person don't have to just talk. They could talk to a spiritualist. Right. That's like what I'm getting at. Yeah, you don't have to just talk go to, to a, but you want to make sure you take care of not only your mental, mental health, yeah, 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 but that part. your physical health as, as well, well right. and your spiritual, spiritual health as well. Like, well, I agree. you gotta, you gotta pour into yourself and all of that and, and just listen to your higher, your body, your mind will guide you towards what you need when you need it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Like you, you always talk about how like you meditate, but then you take breaks for oh, yeah. your personal reasons. Personal reason. of, yeah, 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 we won't talk about. But it's like no, because somebody else might say, "Nah, you need to meditate every day," mm. or somebody else might say, "Bro, that that's stupid as fuck. Ain't nobody meditating every day." Mm. But right. you know how to find a balance in your meditation. You mm. know, so that is you taking care of yourself so, spiritually right. as well. Yeah, so I didn't think like, about it like that. But yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, no, we, we, that is so important to not leave your physical health out of. Right. And doing, I, I'm happy you yeah. reiterated that because I damn sure didn't include that, but you, you're right. I agree with that. Yeah. And um, now when you meditate and you quiet the mind for too long, you, I, I feel like... <laughs> Hold on, I just think of like if I did meditate every day, the, that mind's mirror, and that's some. I need you to look up, look that up. That could be too much. Like that could be too much. I'm not on that level of trying to transcend to Buddhism. He's scared, y'all. <laughs> like, and He's I might scared. be like, I'm not. like I ain't go, you know, He's like, like Lord, I need... I'm about to ask you to project in my sleep. I've been meditating like, so much. What is going you know, on? Let me go ahead and, and I took him. Like I even went now. somewhere else last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the God. Like oh, like wait you a minute. You up there? Let me go yeah. ahead and just let me just take a break from from this. Yeah, and I, I have you literally. Stay grounded. I gotta stay grounded. I'm not ready. I can't untether myself from Earth if my children is on Earth. Right. But, you know, let that sink in. A lot of people, they they. I see so many parents, and I'm getting off the subject about quality time, but this kind of fall into the notion. Um, they go to the motions of being a parent. But they forget that they have to be in their church alive. You know what I mean? And I don't, 
I never want my children to think that I'm just a sperm donor. Oh, my daddy just take care of me, pay for bills, and that's mm-hmm. about it. Nah, bro. We gonna go. Children <laughs> say that shit too. Hell yeah! I, I was what? one of them. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Like, Hell yeah, my no. parents spoiled me to death. Like, no. financially, I had no worries, but everything else, basura. Okay? Yeah, see, Throw no. it in the trash. No, I can't, yeah, I can't have that. I won't say that fully, but we that's because they were taught to be ground workers and to pay, and to build and have money and pay bills. Pay and bills, right. Yeah, and they really have a lot of time to dedicate to us because back then it used to take so much to mm. make a good coin, you know, versus now. That's very true. It's a lot easier to make money in 2023 than it was back in the 80s. Mm. Oh, the 80s. Oh, yeah. 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 It's 80s was um, doing a little the bit too much. The focus was different. So now that we are allotted a different time and space, energetically, you know, um, te- technically, like in technology and in the growth of the world, we can actually be able to be more to our children than our parents were able to be to us. That's you know, right. it's, and a lot of the illusions have been lifted. You know, mm. we're more aware of the education system. We're more aware of, of politics, history. what's going on in the world. The history we have now come into a space where a lot of us uh, know who we are spiritually, how we started. You know mm. what I'm saying? And and understand who we are as a people. Mm. And so it makes it um, uh, better for our children because we can provide them something of just knowing who they're, they are from a young age versus wait until they get our age before they come into this awakening of who they are. Right. You know, they have a better opportunity. So. And, and the first thing I just thought about based on your, your, your statement is credit literacy. Oh, yeah, financial <laughs> definitely literacy. Definitely financial yeah, literacy, credit, all of that. Like, so, yeah. You know, so big, definitely. Big, big deal. Big, yeah. I yeah. need to have somebody talk about that on the podcast one day. About yeah, we got credit. people. We gotta, I got to have somebody come up there and, and talk about that. Yeah, we got people. I got depth. people. You got people. Yeah, like, yeah. we got people. <laughs> we got, yeah, you know I got, what I'm I got saying? Some, yeah. yeah, I had somebody um, I want to bring on. Um, definitely. We'll talk. More about oh yeah, them. oh yeah. I got a list of people. Mm. I got, I got a list, but I'm so picky now. I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm being like picky. you in a sense. Very. I'm kind of picky now. Like I've, yeah. I've asked, I, I'm in this notion like, if I ask somebody a couple of times in the podcast, it's like three strikes you out. If I ask you more than three times, I'm not about to kiss somebody. Uh, uh-uh. I ain't about to do all that. You know, I'm what not mean? even like just because you're doing something don't mean I'm going to ask you to be. Right, right. Yeah, that's who. Like, that's I'm who. picky you gotta, like I'm that. Picky like, like, because right. it's a lot of people doing shit, but they don't add no value to the people. You know what I'm saying? They be moving in ways that... That's like, I want to. I want people to be a light sh- shed on people that are being more than just an entrepreneur. Right. You know what I'm saying? What value can you bring to the table outside of what you're doing in your business? Fact. You Fact. know what I'm saying? So... The last person you brought in here, definitely, definitely. The only person I the only person. Yeah, it yeah, literally yeah, yeah, yeah. took me a lot of time. But, you know, like I said, I just went through this new perspective. I've been meeting a lot of new people, hanging out with new right. people. You know what I'm saying? It's been really great. Like, Got a network. Yeah. This is, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. Great appreciation for people, entertainment, and success. I hope that you like, subscribe, share, click that button, you know, and that definitely will help us out. But, yeah. Um, yes, sir. That, you know, I'm 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 happy for y'all. I'm happy how y'all moving, happy and I'm happy too, I'm happy y'all part of the squadron. I apologize about the pictures behind us. The semi gloss doesn't work, y'all. So we got to get the matte. And um, you know, <laughs> when we do, y'all about to love it. Okay, I'll, can they? Can you see the pictures? You can. Oh, they can see, see them. Yeah. But it's like I know it's kind of. I'm just still laughing. Up. Look at that monkey one more time. Look at that, Brittany, y'all. I love it. <laughs> Like, I was so happy when I walked in the door. I was like, oh, my God. Hey, look, it was look. just so dramatic. Like, so, this is so nice. Hey, look. Oh. So, low-key, I felt I came in late, right? I came to the house late. And um, I'm like, well, at least I got a little surprise for them. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm like, hopefully yeah. they see that. You, you know, hopefully that kind of like, okay, well, these motherfuckers did do this. You know, like, I don't know, you know. It worked out, bro. I'm not going to lie because, you know, I'm, me as much as anybody else wants us to be on time. But if I'm being honest, like I did some super irresponsible shit this morning. <laughs> and so I needed a minute anyway. Like I've been trying to recover my life. Jealous, though, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, you know, I drive truck, so I can't. Nobody hey, can't I ain't going to lie, man. I don't look good. Though. It yeah, looks right, great. Right yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Some, um, we did some, uh, you remember how you woke up? You saw a part of it. So last week, that we did an episode. <laughs> Kev woke up and said, "Bro, what, what happens to the pictures on the wall?" 
not woke up. He woke up like, yo, what? He was out in Florida. <laughs> he was like, yo, what, what? I just took everything down to start working on the wall. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, shout out I, to Tim. But Always I, finding ways to make things better. I try. So valuable. I try. You know I, what I'm saying? It's, so a, it's some um some little bit of Jerry rig, and I will tell y'all that after the, the camera stop. But, yeah. but anyway, this is great. Cafe. Yes. Anybody got anything else to say? My producer wants us to wrap it up. I do. I have one. Um, Any last shout thing out? I want to say. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. exactly what yeah. I want to say. I want to say. Um, Shout out to Talk Spicy Her. Okay, shout out to Talk um, Spicy The her. podcast, uh, Ritzy and Michelle had me on and that episode aired today. Okay, how and, was that uh, episode? It was uh, so much light. Good, good. Yeah, we talked about um, domestic violence mm. and um, the healing journey. And uh, it was great. Heavy. And again, follow, check me out on the Talk Spicy Her episode that dropped today uh-huh. um, on YouTube, on Facebook, on their platforms. So and shout out to them queens for having me because they were great. And then also, nice. I want to shout out my sis, uh, Lady S. Dot Lee. Okay, uh, prior okay. to podcast tonight, I went to um, Ladies Evolve Night. It okay. is a um, event that she has um, every couple of months, sometimes back to back, month to month. Okay, just depending on how she's feeling. Um, but just being in that space energetically, I want everybody to go and follow Lady S. Dot Lee so you can tap in. Um, she just opened a new boutique here in Wilmington. It's Soul Love okay. Lux Boutique. I actually got this jacket from there. That's a dope ass jacket. Thank you. I might need to. We might need to put a little S. Dot Lee thing on a little. New bar on the bottom. Yes, yeah, sis, sis is yeah. doing a lot uh, for women, you know, as far as like, and she's been going through a lot of uh, changes herself. So to see her really push through and still be out here encouraging people and shining so bright and being right. an inspiration and bringing us women together in a circle the way she does, um, I just want to shed a light on that. That's so. What's up. I want up more women to tap in. Like we want Fact. more faces. So it's, it, we have a nice full size of, of crowd that actually shows up to her events. But I would love to see more new faces. Mm, you know, that, so we, that we part. want to bring some more people to tap in. Shout out to y'all. y'all Shout out the to the queen. That's what's up. Yes. I love seeing. I love seeing anybody actually get on their ground. But it's good to see my fem- my females get on their ground. My black sisters. You know, yeah. not just a black thing. All sisters, but my black sisters. Yeah, we want to work ground. on uh, becoming more present you know, more aware and more in unity and care less about what's not working for us and start being more driven and focusing on what is actually working for us. So mm, that's a lot pulling of, together and doing it. Like the only way I see that happening is you gotta Harlem shake that ego. Just Harlem shake it. <laughs> we're getting so good at that. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, we're getting so good at that. I promise you. Like the ones who are. Right, right. I ain't right, right. speaking about the ones that's not. <laughs> Because the world is full of all of us. You know what I'm saying? Fact, but the yeah. ones who are, you know, dedicated to um, themselves, mm. like not just women, the men too. Like I've been seeing a lot of men like really like team up with each other and Word. get shit done, you mm. know. So it's making you know me who you so are. proud as a people, you know, to see us work together um, so effortlessly and be able to connect with the ones that we can work with. Nice. You know, the ones with the egos that always get in the way, Validate. they don't even fucking matter. Man, you know Validate. what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm more appreciative of the ones with that we can um, set our uh, bad ego because you know mm. it's good and bad ego. You can set your your not so good ego to down and be able to function harmoniously with mm. others. You know, I have I have been a witness to see that when people team up, like magic really takes Real place. Yeah, yeah. So Real shit. shout out, shout to, out um, to us. Shout out to y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all yeah. y'all grind. Anybody you want to shout out, Kev? I know you got somebody you want to shout out. Kevin, you know everybody. Uh, <laughs> that nigga said, uh, yo, they, <laughs> they shout out to Pop Billions in the studio. Hey, your brother's yeah, studio out, at shout least. Out, shout out my brother Pop. Man. Yeah, shout yeah. Out the studio, studio. Word <laughs> up. You know, shout out. Shit, shout out my family, man. You know, I got yeah. I got pretty, pretty decent family. Yo. Word up. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> shout out my bitch, sis. She a nurse at the hospital yeah. for over two years. Oh yeah, shout years, out to all the nurses. So. Out and she the just had a birthday again. People, so. You know, helped a lot of lives out. Facts. Yeah, yeah, that's shout not out easy. Shout out to you. Shout yeah. out to you, sis. I, mean, I shout gotta, out to y'all. I appreciate that. I, appreciate I gotta shout y'all. out. I appreciate that, sis. I ain't yeah. trying to interject. I like how I just said nah, up that. I'm good, on, let me just take that all in. I appreciate that, sis. Yes. I ain't. <laughs> shout out to Swizzy. Shout out to Swizzy Sound yes. and uh, the engineer. The, the masterpiece that you've been making, 
I've been seeing you how you move and how you engineer, bro. These the sound and really understanding a little bit. Not I go say hundred percent because I'm not a producer at all, never will be. But understanding the the acoustics and the importance of mixing and mastering a little bit, bro. You is up there on genius level. And when what I've seen this past month at that EDM and and you working on my music, and shout out to DJ Barbarian showing him him a little bit of shit. Um, I must say it was like watching Yoda and the Jedi Master. Y'all niggas was just like, yo, amazing. That shit That's was so on some. I'm like, yo, I ain't even on. I'm not I'm even vibrating on this. Like, yeah. I'm basic. I'm an ant watching that, like these super beings fight. You know, like I'm not even in on this. I shouldn't even be here. You know what I mean? Like that type of level. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to Swizzy. Swizzy sounds definitely keep doing it. Keep moving on that EDM. Electronic dance music. So shout out to y'all. Most definitely. Um, this is Great Edge Cafe. Yes, Deuces. Peace, y'all. Love you. Be safe. Au revoir. Aviva Dirkshi. Let Adios. the door hit you. Adios, amigos. Mm-hmm. You know, buta <laughs> 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 yeah, that's all that girl.